deductive problem solvers. I want to get laid. What do I need to do to get laid? I need to create excess resources so a woman will take me seriously, aka acquire wealth, right? So men have a higher proclivity to work. This is why men work more dangerous jobs. They work more hours. They work, they, they're more likely to work jobs that will kill them. 90% of workforce deaths are men. It's not women. Right. Why? Because women understand deep down, right? You stand out, right? You're, you said you make 99% more than most women, right? Think not about most, that. most women, women about women my age. Okay. And I'd say about well, definitely But think 80. about that. Why do you make more than most women? Because most women harder. aren't hard workers. Yes. Yeah, sure. Period. Because women don't have a natural proclivity to create excess resources because they don't have to. Mm -hmm. The hotter a girl is, the less she has to work hard. You have a woman here that was a trophy wife for 12 years. Can I be a trophy husband? Fuck out of here. I was That's a trophy never wife for eight years, but I worked alongside so, but, uh, but my, look, my look, you had, fiance. You, you had the ability exactly. to do so. I will married. never be a trophy husband. I will never be able to stay at home and have a woman take me seriously. You have the privilege of being able to do so. So since women have that privilege, guess what? The incentivization to work as hard is not there because you don't need to do it. Going back to what I said before, a woman that doesn't need a man is never going to be able to compete with a girl. She's always going to be... A woman that wants a man is never going to be able to compete with a woman that he, needs a, a man. man. Yeah. yeah. Same thing. Same exact yeah. dynamic. She's not so going since to women she's not going to lower her standards as bruh, much as bruh, a woman look, who needs bruh, a man. That's why God woman. damn, ho. Shit. See, this is what I be talking about, bro. It's like they it's like uh, It's like they don't listen, bro. I can never be a stay-at-home dad. A trophy dad, trophy, trophy, what the fuck that nigga said. It's not happening. If I just wanted to sit around, watch the kids, take take the kids in the minivan and shit, kick it at the crib, take take a car, go to Target, go shopping at Target, I couldn't do it. That life does not exist as a man. D D A hey boy, they will drag you underneath the fucking bus, nigga. Talk about you a lazy piece of shit. You deadbeat. You know what I'm saying? A, a female could do that. That's that's they benefit, and then and 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 then on our side, we got to go through the fucking war. We got to go through the fucking flames, through the fire, and build something, build something up, and make a name for ourselves. That's how life goes. But it's just crazy how some people just don't see that. Like they don't actually see that. Like life in general is fair. Nothing's fair, nigga. We we all we all might have the same twenty four hours, but we do not all have the same opportunities. Think about that. We all don't have the same opportunities, and anybody can argue with me. Oh, we got the same twenty four hours. That's cool. That's what's up. That's cool. Whatever. But we all don't have the same opportunities. We all don't have the same. Um, we all we all don't have the same information. We all don't have the same jobs. We all don't have the same education. Think about this. Think about that. Let's say you're born in a bad neighborhood. You're born You're born with a lot of low-class individuals. I'm not saying that that makes them low-class individuals, but people who don't have faith and people who don't believe that they can do better in life. And all that negative bullshit that you're around is going to be fed into you. Why do you want to go to school for it? Why do you want to start that business? Why do you want to do that? You're wasting your time. You're not going to be nothing anyway. And if you hear that long enough from a young age... You're gonna you're gonna start feeling that way. You're gonna start moving that way. You're gonna start thinking that way. And the only way that you don't is if you have a strong mind and you have somebody to tell you that you are worth. You're worth it. You can do better. You're better than this. And I'm telling you, you better than this, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? You better than this, my nigga. And the reason that you're feeling so bad, that you're feeling so down, that you're feeling depressed, and you got this anxiety. It's because you know that you're supposed to be in a better position and you're, you're supposed to be doing something else. But these, these little trials and tribulations and these temptations keep throwing you off track. That's what's happening. That's why you feel like that. That's why you get angry. That's why you get mad. That's why you feel like ain't, ain't nobody out there for you because you know you can do better. So if you know you can do better, do better. Start doing the tasks, start doing the things that's going to actually help you become a better person and to help the others around you. Because at the end of the day, it's all about helping your family and making sure everybody good. But you can't do that if you're still thinking about the past and if you're still dreading on what's not going your way when you're not even putting in no work, bro. Let's be honest. That's why y'all feeling like that because I be feeling like that sometimes. No cap. Right, so so you want to cope and make an explanation for why the point is, is that you can't fucking compete with the guy that with the woman that needs the man if you want the man 
You understand? Yeah. Going you back to what I said before, this is why women can't compete with men because women don't need to create excess resources. Men do. This is why men make more money than women. It's not because of a wage gap or because men are assholes or sexist, blah, blah, blah. We have no, to have Women it. have more opportunities now than ever, but they still make less money. Why? Because women are inherently lazy when it comes to re resource creation, but they're not lazy when it comes to children creation. Mm -hmm. That's a woman's thriving point. So mm -hmm. there's women out there that are successful, make money, but you're not... Your ability to mate is not contingent upon creating excess resources. Correct. Ours is. That's why men take more risks and work harder than women and create these infrastructure jobs. Mm -hmm. Because we know we need to go out there and create. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to create children. Y'all are the ones that hold the keys when it comes to picking the man. Mm -hmm. Facts. So that's why men work harder than women and work jobs that are more risky and more hours, et cetera, than and women. And also because they're biologically to. stronger. We have to, yeah. But we're made for it. But it, it, we're, we're, we really are like a thousand percent fueled by our desire for women like me fresh parent everything we do at the backbone of it all like yeah part of it's like yeah be successful whatever but another part is like women might like this you know and that's like these guys like do these crazy jobs they like drill to the fucking center of the earth and like shake the hands with the fucking devil is because they know like i'm gonna go home and my wife's gonna make me a sandwich and like pat me on the head and be like hey you're my hero <laughs> you know the kids are gonna come home and be like dad's great you know and that's just like that's what's been kind of stripped away from the average man these days is just like the ability of a woman to come in and just like appreciate the guy and it is an America-centric problem, and that's why a lot of American girls, they're losing out to Venezuelan girls. They're losing out to Chinese girls. They're losing out to Colombian girls. They're losing out to Thai girls. They're losing out to Japanese girls. Because these girls understand from their culture that a man needs to feel respected. And appreciated. Heard and appreciated. Oh, Guys God. nowadays just want to be appreciated. The average man is so starved for female appreciation that he's fucking buying you slingshots at fucking to go on the trips and 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 <laughs> hey hey you know and notice how he said the average man now i ain't saying a nigga starving for that shit i ain't looking for that shit now uh, when i was younger okay yeah maybe so i feel like you don't really grow up once once you can go through the trenches without trying to get this appreciation and the satisfaction you you become a stronger individual you become you become dangerous like you don't need that validation you don't need it you don't seek it out you don't care if you get a text from you don't get you don't care if you get a call from you don't care you do not care if y'all even talk when your feelings is cut off like feelings gone nigga i'm cold once you get cold and shit fucking with you now i ain't saying a nigga don't want that but don't need it you know what I'm saying? I don't need it cuz I didn't been through the trenches myself. And if she can't if she can't see the amount of work that you're putting in order to provide or in order to get to this next level, then as a real individual, which is some of y'all don't really understand this, cut the cut the bitch off, cut the hoe off. It's simple. Cut her off, let her go. Let her go. Let her walk away. You know what I'm saying? Or you trying to shoot your shot at her, you trying to get a number all this and she playing games doing all this other shit and getting you to run around i right, fuck you i'm gone i'm gonna find somebody else it's that simple i know she look good i know she probably fine she make you feel some type of way but she don't take you serious my nigga and if she ain't she ain't taking you serious that shit ain't gonna never work you just gonna be doing you're gonna be doing a fucking run around it's like a squirrel trying to chase a fucking nut and the damn nut is attached to the damn tree at the top of that motherfucker and it's a bunch of squirrels fighting for the nut fuck that how about you don't chase the nut and go pick up that goddamn berry over there? <laughs> hey, it's your boy, the real X. I'm going on. Make sure to like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm gone.